Hi guys, it's definitely been a minute since I posted, but welcome. This is a vlog of Corsica, which is an island that is near Italy and France, so it's kind of like the perfect mix of both worlds. It's beautiful, it's on the Mediterranean Sea, I did a lot of swimming, I did some shopping, ate out a lot, and explored the beautiful old village on top of the mountain. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy that. I wanted to say I'm sorry for not posting sooner. I vlogged my end of year performance for ballet, but I couldn't post it because we had a professional film, the actual dancing performance, and I wanted to include my performance in the video so you could see it, but they literally still haven't sent the video, so I couldn't post a vlog because it felt very incomplete. But as soon as I get those videos, I will put them in and the vlog will be ready to post. But anyways, I'm in Paris right now, so I'm also gonna be vlogging Paris, and I hope you enjoy. I was staying in Calvi, Corsica, which is a little town on the ocean, but if you walk up, there's a citadel on top of this mountain that used to be like a fort or something like that, and it has this insane view of the Mediterranean. So these are some clips from exploring the citadel. The next day I got up to do my daily routine, which was literally just jumping in the ocean, jumping in the pool, and then going out to dinner. Sorry, but my French is mared. Excusez-moi. Why would somebody do this on purpose when they could do something else? I got back from the beach and I showered and everything. The water in Corsica made my hair so cooperative, which I really appreciate because it never is. Here's a little get ready with me. A lot of you guys have been asking about my skincare routine and what I wanted to say was that I went to a dermatologist because I had terrible acne and I'm on tretinoin now which is really really helpful for my skin. I've seen such a big difference and honestly if you're having serious skin trouble just go to a dermatologist. It'll help I promise and I think mine was covered by insurance so I didn't pay much money for it. Yeah I really recommend. Here's me applying the Glossier Stretch Concealer, the only one I'll ever use, and here I stole my mom's solar paint by Glossier, it's like a little bronzer. I don't usually wear bronzer, but I wanted to feel tan, and I really liked it, so I kind of want to get my own now. <laughs> I was so bad on this trip, I didn't wear enough sunscreen, I didn't really wear much sunscreen at all, because I have been so pasty, and I wanted to be glowy and bronzed. But it's so bad for my skin and i need to be better about that anyways i was using the benetton and the kosas airbrow here it's all the same products from all my videos pretty much so there's a makeup routine in almost every one of my vlogs this is the glossy gen g lipstick i think in the shade zip i love it it's like perfectly blotted and red This day started out cloudy at the beach, but it just got right sunny again, and it was so enjoyable even when it was cloudy. More that you say, the less I know, the heavier you stray, I follow, begging for you to take my hand, wreck my plans, that's my man. Life was okay, so I just got back from the beach, and I'm looking a little crusty, but I'm off on the pool. Uh, these chips. They're real good. Some mango juice. It was a little bit cloudy before, but now it's super sunny, which is really nice. But um, I'm such a dummy, and I never put on any sunscreen, so probably by the end of this day, I'm going to be tomato. On the beach here, there's like these carts that sell beignets with like nutella or jam or just plain sugar and i had a nutella beignet it was so yummy so i'm just chilling on my balcony i was gonna go to the pool and i'm just like waiting because the owners of the airbnb are like downstairs and it's just embarrassing i don't want them to see me so i'm just waiting for them to leave Slay, what was I doing? <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna wear this like, like skirt and top thing that I got in Italy a few years ago. See you in a minute. I had my little shower, did my little makeup, and got ready to go out to dinner again. Here's the fit. It's a big favorite of mine. Some wonderful sunset content for you all. They're my favorite thing on this planet. It's been four hours now since I've wandered through your place. Okay, I just got some new dresses. I'll show you them in the daylight tomorrow, but this is the first one. I'm so obsessed with it. I just like the couleur. It's just so nice. I also got these like earrings. Okay, so please don't regard my monster pimple, but out of the two new dresses I got, here's the other one. Let me show you. Here she is. Look, she's pretty gorgeous. I especially love the color blue. Okay, so today, unfortunately, is our last day in Corsica. So after that, we're gonna be going to Paris, which is gonna be so much fun. And I think we're just gonna do what we do every day today, which is go to the beach and swim in the pool and then have a nice dinner in the town. Like a few, I think maybe three weeks ago now, I got COVID, it was so bad. I am vaccinated, I'm boosted, but I got it anyway. And I literally can't get rid of the cough. Like I'm still coughing. Like why? Dang. And I have like a migraine every single morning. COVID is no joke. It's please, please stay safe. I don't, I don't recommend. It. I love this Airbnb so much. It has such such huge windows, which is really nice for me because back in New York, I don't really have much windows in my apartment, and so my kind of sleep cycle gets thrown off because I don't get to like wake up with the sun, and we don't have that much light. So it's a nice change. For me. My mom spoke French to me when I was little and I took French in school. I grew up around French speaking people. So I have definitely a French background. I could speak French somewhat, but it's so scary to do it because if you mess up, like they know you're American immediately and just start speaking to you in English and then you're just like, I'm trying, I am trying. Also recently I got my hair cut because it was so long and raggedy and horrible. And I don't know, I, I have like wavy hair, but it used to be much more curly. And now like, this is how my hair is like naturally. So I think I'm just gonna give up on trying to make my hair like wavy curly. Cause I think it's just like this. I don't know, my, I, if you've watched my other vlogs, you know that my hair is like such a wild beast and I never know what to do about it. But I feel like it's calming down a little. So that's good. Yeah. Am I the only person that like i like summer I obviously like summer it's so much fun it's so beautiful isn't it but i like i miss autumn i want it to be autumn so badly i'm not like that big of a summer girl i i think i just like whatever season that is not currently happening but like okay i want to go to like bookstores and wear like doc martens and corduroy pants and like drink hot chocolate and like have halloween time <laughs> Also, I love apple picking and apple cider and just stuff. Literally, I just want to have like a fun, like big friend group that like does stuff and like has a good old time and just like always have lots of people to talk to. Okay, I was gonna say nobody speaks to me, but that's like a lie kind of. I think I just don't speak to people, but like I want to, I want to talk to you. I'm just too scared to. Please talk to me. Please, please. Et alors, je vais à la plage. Au revoir. Okay, now we're gonna Look at the steps up to the
you're crazy. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little cat there. There's literally cats everywhere on this island. Like, I sleep on your couch, I feel very safe And when you bring the blankets, I cover up my face I do love you, I do love Well, that's all, and the next vlog you'll be seeing is Paris. Stay tuned.